This is sometimes known as the fundamental trigonometric limit. It's vitally important to calculus and many college freshmen's nightmares. You typically learn this limit near the beginning of a first semester calculus course, right when you're learning about limits. So you don't know any power series or even derivatives yet. You definitely can't prove this with L'Hopital's rule. But we can do it with just a little bit of geometry and the squeeze theorem. We'll do it by drawing a circle with radius 1. Let's do some labeling. I'll label this triangle ABC. And I'll make an even bigger triangle ABD. Call this angle X. Let's notice a few things. The height of triangle ABC is sine X. We can do that just by drawing a right triangle and using a little bit of basic trig. C happens to be on the unit circle. The height of triangle ABD is tan X. Again, just using some Sokotoa knowledge, the base of this triangle is 1, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what's the area of triangle ABC? The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. The base is 1. The height is sine x. So it's 1 half 1 times sine x. What's the area of this shaded wedge? Since it's the area of a sector of a circle, we can just use the formula for the area of a sector. Here the angle is x, the radius is 1, so it's just 1 half x 1 squared, or 1 half x. What's the area of triangle ABD? Again, the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, that's 1 half 1 times tan x. And since the triangle ABC is contained within the wedge, which is contained within the triangle ABD, we have this nice inequality. We can simplify this a bit, just divide everything by a half, and we'll also divide everything by sine x. And we'll make this look a little bit nicer by taking the reciprocal. That's also going to flip the direction of the inequality signs. Here's the fun part, we apply the very famous squeeze theorem. We'll take the limit as x approaches 0. On the right, the limit of a constant is that constant. On the left, we just need to substitute 0 into cosine. Cosine of 0 is 1. And what this tells us is that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is greater than or equal to, simultaneously less than or equal to, 1. By the squeeze theorem, this limit must be 1. But if you thought that argument was fun, I promise you'll think this one's a lot of fun too. Click the video on the screen to check it out. I'll see you in that one.